guys I'm gonna show you how to create system user in AEM right so you already learned how to create users normal users now we are talking about system users so for that you just have to go to this path CRX Explorer I'm gonna provide this path in the description below so that make sure you are already logged in if you are logged out you have to log in with the admin otherwise you're not gonna get the permission to do it you should be logged in with the admin user right so after doing this you should click on this user administration click create users and make it anything let's say jewel user and i can give the relative path instead of giving absolute path system and it's done it's all done now all you have to do is check it and give the permission in the user admin console in user admin here now you can search for this jewel user you have this one now you can simply provide permission to this jewel user just like you do for normal users right now let's say i want to use the system user in order to uh, like create some uh, other users like see some other users normal users so first of all let's understand why we need system users we need system users to create uh, users uh, through CR, through uh, writing some code right through some api the one, uh, there are many many ways to create creating um, users uh, one of the way them is by using uh, your code and from like this from id to this uh, this crx or this am that's how you can do this so after this you have to do one more thing let's go on this uh -huh. so config manager that's a mistake after that you have to search for apache ceiling mapping service this one you have to search for this apache ceiling service user mapper service amendment you can provide service mapping so uh, first you have to give the bundle id so let's see what a bundle id is currently my project is uh, my site so this is how you can see bundle id this is the bundle id inside the bracket my site dot core so let's go back to the configurations this is the format colon now you can cre uh, give any here you can create the sub service id you can give it any then you have to remember what you have your service service here let's say i'm writing joel uh, test joel service user uh, here you here is you're gonna give the exactly the id the id of that system user you just created which is joel user and then save it now you want to check if it's been saved or not search for it amendment and let's, uh, let's scroll down a bit you can see all the mapping here or you can simply search for the mapping Tool. yeah you can see this mapping i've already have other mapping like beta user this is the mapping that we just created Joel user right. so after this then we have to we can simply go on our id and write some code for creating users let's go to our id so this is my project and inside core i'm creating a folder let's set utils and now let's create a class here i'm gonna na name it resolver util let's maximize it first let's create a simple constructor for it for using letter now we can create 
create public static final final string Joel user Joel service user and it should be a string Joel service user now here you can write this method public so resolver static And inside it, you part this factory. This was all factory. Factory. Throws. Login. Exception. Uh, this is the must. You have to write this format. You have to pass in this factory method, factory argument, and throw this exception. After this, we can simply create map. A string type. imported as well map let's call it parameter param for map new hash map now we have to map that uh, subservice param dot put factory dot subservice jewel service user uh, now simply can fetch this And now you can fetch the resolver. Source. Resolver. <coughs> we'll get some resolver. Param. Pass the param and get this resolver. Right. So now I'm going to explain what I've done here. I'll simply create this string, Joel Service User. It should be same as here in the Felix console. This Joel service user, it should be same, right? Uh, now I have created this map for mapping it. Now this this line, I'm mapping it. I'm mapping this uh, service user with this subservice. You mean now I'm gonna be able to use my code in order to create some normal users, right? And after that, I have to get the resolver. So this is not the, a normal resolver. I have to write it down. This is not a normal. got this as over now you can create any ceiling sublet or model or wc news pocho and from there you can use this as over to create any user or groups in aem so that's all about it i hope you like it